So anyway, what we're going to be talking about is a little cringe-worthy, but the Baldur's 3 uh, live stream was recently. I'm not going to say it was today because I have no idea when this video is going out. I, I, I really don't. And besides looking at this junky piece of shit website that I'm currently looking at, I have actually watched that stream completely through. And there is some cool tech behind it. I will say the guys at Lyrian Studios have done an interesting job. I have not played the game yet. I will probably buy it sometime after release when it goes on sale because, well, money's a little tight right now. Um, that being said, Baldur's Gate 3 had a little bit of a controversial thing happen. And that you can have sexual relations with a bear. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Apparently gay bear sex is a thing in this game. And I have seen people sharing the clips of the video on Discord all day long. And it's kind of making me laugh, believe it or not. Your girl might be a little uh, freaky on some things. Now, to clarify, I believe it's called a werebear in the setting. It's been a while since I've done with or dealt with anything that is Baldur's Gate related. Uh, I was more of a fan of the Lost Realms, if anybody wants to know anything about me. And Sword Coast. I really did love the Sword Coast. But when it comes down to it, this kind of thing really doesn't bug me as long as the game has that rating in there. And people don't just overwhelmingly give it to kids. Like, just be uh, mature about it. <laughs> but I still find it funny as hell. Because it has been a topic of many a controversy. Many of screaming has been had. Many of annoyance. Many of... Man, that was weird. I was like, I don't know what happened to now, I couldn't pull up any negative tweets. I'd seen those earlier today. But I do love Baldur's Gate 3. You're definitely a demigod and a madman who wants to steal your soul and usurp your powers. Uh, the expansion. It's time to ref resolve conflict. Summoned by your siblings and decide what happens to the power of a dead god. Baldur's Gate 3. Party. The steel of the bear is kind of cute. I'm not going to lie. Not into that kind of thing, but, you know, to each their own. That That is how things are done in the realm of Jackie. You can't spell Lilith with. But, Baldur's Gate, something. I don't want to hear shit about fan service and anime from anybody who plays Baldur's Gate 3. If you can go bareback in this way, in any AAA game, sexy cartoon ladies are the least of your concerns. <laughs> oh, I like sexy cartoon ladies. And I, I wouldn't do that. I'm going to say it, I'm seeing a huge amount of people who have a very strange interest in Baldur's Gate 3. If you didn't have any interest before, it's very strange. Almost like there's a reason. Funny. Right. It's just talking about Baldur's Gate 3 for having content that you object to. I imagine that you're not going to play it. Just like there are some people that complain about uh, egregious fan service in anime. They've wanted to watch otherwise. Uh, they would have watched, wanted to watch it otherwise. Just saw the Baldur's Gate 3 bear sex video. It's so over. I'm not a gamer anymore. Druids should not be fucking their bears. <laughs> and boy, you know nothing about the gay community. I know a lot of druids and bears in the LGBT community. Given it is a werebear. There is a difference between classical bestiology from mythology, Greek, and Norse, and animal buggery in D&D. Baldur's Gate 3 has crossed that line. I feel like people didn't see the transformation part of that. The dude's a werebear. Like, seriously. Now, that being said, I don't show the video because it is inappropriate for 
younger audiences and I am on YouTube so kids could theoretically see it even if I put it up behind a mature wall which is something I don't want because I don't want to facilitate the depravity or the I don't want to facilitate more problems with minors than there already are. Uh, let kids be kids. That's always been my stance. I don't sit there and talk about, well, I do talk about tranny stuff, but in a general sense. Waiting for August to celebrate my anniversary for the current job and to melt into Boulder's Gate. <laughs> I actually think I might buy Boulder's Gate 3. I don't care, porn bot. If you were to watch an anime with a panty shot in it, you would have to stop watching it or fast forward to avoid it. If you don't want to have druid sex with multiple partners in Baldur's Gate 3, you don't have to. And I believe that's a fair point. I think that was something that they were trying to convey, that you don't actually have to have sex with the bear. Like, that's, that's, that's not, a, not a huge thing. One of the greatest games ever made. Incredible writing, tactical, layered combat, branching narratives, puzzles. It literally has it all. Can't wait until a billion people come back to it after Baldur's Gate 3 and realize Divinity Original Sin 2. <laughs> I have the entirety of uh, Divinity Original Sin. I do plan on streaming it one day. It is on the list of games that I do plan on streaming through. But I want to find co-op partners because it enhances the experience. I've actually never played Divinity 2. The one and only reason anyone is comparing the two games is because PS5 isn't getting Starfield and Xbox isn't getting Baldur's Gate late. So it becomes part of the console war by people who are desperate for the attention and have no idea what they're talking about. And that's the other thing that I wanted to lead to into on this video. I've seen a lot of accounts that have started just screaming about Xbox and PlayStation out of nowhere. And I'm talking no-name accounts. Like, no offense to anybody, but I own both a PlayStation and an Xbox, given they're the last console generation, because I'm really not interested in anything that the current console generation has. I would rather play PC games with my friends than play games on a console. And the only reason I keep the PlayStation 4 around is actually because I like Gundam Breakers. As seen by my constant saying, hey, Bandai Namco, if you release this on PC, I will fucking play it. Because <laughs> it is a good game. The first three Gundam Breakers are amazing. The one I'm currently streaming through is a pain in the ass. I absolutely hate it. My chat is making me suffer. I love you guys. I mean it. But uh, when it comes down to it, I don't have a gripe with this kind of content in a game as long as it's not being shoved down kids' throats. As long as the appropriate measures are taken. I, I don't really give a shit. I just thought it was kind of funny that there are a lot of people out there that have a problem with this. I don't really care. It's a fantasy setting. I personally, if I'm playing through the game, I probably won't have sex with the bear. I like my neckos. <laughs> Boy or girls, up to you. Anyways, that's kind of the thing, though. Like, other than that, I've seen this astroturfed uh, console war, and it's heavily astroturfed. The people that are behind the modern console war just really don't appeal to me they're eh. and yeah it's one of those things like i don't know uh i'm not really excited for starfield after the last two fallout games i'm i mean i was kind of mad on skyrim anyway kind of interested in boulder's gate not because of console exclusive, but because it'll be out on PC. And I like a good RPG. It's like a book to me. Anyways, I've been Jackie. I know this video is a little weird for me, I guess. I don't fucking know. I don't know anymore. What is my channel? My channel is a lot of things. It's weird. 
love you guys though mean it uh please like share comment subscribe you know keep that conversation going down in below hell you can call me a degenerate i don't really care <laughs> anyways until next time love you mean it bye